create uh, an alternative to what there is in Rwanda. You know, there's, there's that part as well. When you see all these things happening, it's like, no, we are tired of this setup in Rwanda, so they want these Kagamis and these RPF and these others, you know, say Rwanda is, is lacks freedom. You know, there is no freedom, there is no democracy. But you are the first person denying me my freedom. Paul Kagame, born 23rd October 1957, is a Rwandan politician and former military officer who is the fourth and current president of Rwanda since 2000. He previously served as a commander of the Rwandan Patriotic Front, RPF, a rebel armed force which invaded Rwanda in 1990. The RPF was one of the parties of the conflict during the Rwandan Civil War and the armed force which ended the Rwandan genocide. He was considered Rwanda's de facto leader when he served as vice president and minister of defense under President Pastel Bizimungu from 1994 to 2000, after which the vice presidential post was. To a Tutsi family in southern Rwanda that fled to Uganda when he was two years old. He would spend the rest of his childhood there during Rwandan Revolution, which ended centuries of Tutsi political dominance. In the 1980s, Kagame fought in Yoweli Museveni's rebel army, becoming a senior Ugandan army officer after many military victories led Museveni to the Ugandan presidency. Kagame joined the RPF, taking control of the group when previous leader Frederick Jema died on the second day of the 1990 invasion. By 1993, the RPF controlled significant territory in Rwanda and a ceasefire was negotiated. The assassination of Rwandan President Juvenal Habyarimana set off the genocide in which Hutu extremists killed an estimated 5,000, 500,000 to 800,000 Tutsi and moderate Hutu. Kagame resumed the civil war and ended the genocide with a military victory. During his presidency, Kagame controlled the National Army and was responsible for maintaining the government's power while other officials began rebuilding the country. Many RPF soldiers carried out revolution killings. Kagame said he did not support these killings but failed to stop them. Hutu refugee camps formed in Zaire and other countries and the RPF attacked the camps in 1996 but insurgents contributed continued to attack Rwanda. Part of the invasion, Kagame sponsored two rebel wars in Zaire. Rwandan and Ugandan-backed rebels won the First War 1996-1997, installing Roland Desire Kabira as president in place of dictator Mobutu and returning Zaire to its former pre-Mobutu name, the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Second War was launched in 1998 against Kabira and later his son Joseph following the DRC government's expulsion of Rwandan and Ugandan military forces from the country. The war ex escalated into a conflict that lasted until 2003, peace deal and ceasefire. Bizimungu resigned in 2000, most likely having been forced to do so. Following a falling out with the RPF, he was replaced by Kagame. Bizimungu was later imprisoned for corruption and inciting ethnic violence, charges that human rights groups described as politically motivated. Kagame's rule is considered authoritarian and human rights groups accuse him of political repression. Overall opinion on the regime by foreign observers is mixed and that President Kagame has prioritized national development launching programs which have led to the development of key indicator, indicators including healthcare, education and economic growth. Kagame has
has had mostly good relations with the East African community and the United States. His relations with France were poor until 2009. Relations with the DRC remained tense despite the 2003 ceasefire. Human rights groups and leaked United Nations report alleged Rwandan support for two insurgencies in the country, a charge Kagame denies. Several countries suspended aid payments in 2012 following these allegations. Since coming to power, Kagame has won three presidential elections, but none of these have been elated free or fair by international observers. His role in his assassination of exiled political opponents has been controversial. Thank you so much for watching.